So, what if we told you that the 11 aside football played on grass pitches are not the only type of football games that exist? There are many other different ways people enjoy the game of football, and you will be finding out more about some of those in this video today. We assume you're familiar with beach soccer, futsal, and five aside, so we won't be including those in our list today. Here are 10 types of football you didn't know existed. Number 1. Motorball. Motorball, or motorcycle polo as some choose to call it, is basically just football but with all the players riding on motorbikes, well, except the goalkeepers. Here the players can dribble, pass and kick the ball with any foot they prefer, only that they have to be on their bikes when they do it. Each player wears a pair of knee-high boots to protect from chafing. Motorball is pretty similar to regular football in that it's a team sport requiring players to put the ball in the back of the opponent's net, but of course, there exist some differences. For example, the ball is much bigger and the time allocated for a standard game much shorter. The ball used in a motorcycle polo game is about three times heavier than a standard football and a standard motorball game usually consists of three rounds of 20 minutes. Motorball has existed since the 1930s and you can say it's mostly a European sport as it's enjoyed by people in Lithuania, Russia, England, the Netherlands, Ukraine, Bulgaria and France. Number 2. Roller Soccer Roller soccer, which is also called roller foot or roller football, is another version of football that has existed for quite some time now. This sport involves five players on either side playing football with roller skates on. Sounds impossible, doesn't it? It was created in 1882 in the UK. The first ever roller soccer game recorded was between Derby and Burton on the 30th of January 1882. The popularity of the sport then declined in the 20th century before it was revived in 1995 in San Francisco, USA. And then by 2003, the first ever Roller Soccer World Cup was organized and was held in London. For the next decade, the World Cup was held every year in different cities around the world before it became a biennial event. Number 3. Three-sided football Three-sided football, or 3SF as it is often called, is a special variation of football that involves three different teams playing at the same time. Although it is called three-sided football, the pitch it is played on has six sides, but it has that name because there are three goalposts. The game was invented by Danish situationist Asger Jorn. He said he wanted to disrupt the idea of football that everybody had, and well, you could say he succeeded. The first 3SF game was played on the 28th of May 1993, and over the next decade, the sport continued to gain more and more popularity. The first 3SF World Cup was held in Denmark in 2014, and there have only been two tournaments since, with the 2020 edition having to be postponed as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. Just don't think you can use your football knowledge to survive in this game. It's a whole, whole different sport entirely. Number 4. Elephant football You think only humans know how much fun football can be? Even animals enjoy the beautiful game, and that's why there exists such a thing as elephant football. Elephants are known to be some of the most intelligent animals in the world, so it makes sense that they know how to find the back of the net, albeit with the guidance of a human. Anyway, someone needs to go check on the grass this sport is played on because, per the African proverb, when two elephants fight, it's the grass that suffers. But here, we have two whole teams of elephants fighting to win a football match. Must be very tough on the turf. Number 5. Swamp Football Oh yes, it's exactly what you think. Football played in a swamp is an actual official sport, not just something you did with your friends when it rained when you were much younger. It's a recognized sport and there are about 300 recorded swamp football teams in the world. The World Cup and World Championship tournaments are held every year and in 2008 there were 43 teams participating in the World Cup. That's more participants than the FIFA World Cup tournament currently has. As swamp football is a lot more demanding than normal football because of the surface on which it is played, the game lasts for just 24 minutes, 12 minutes per half. There is no offside rule here and you can substitute players as often as you want. The sport originated in Finland where it was initially just used as a form of high intensity exercise for athletes and military people. Now it's enjoyed by people all over the world, most of whom do not even belong to any of those groups. People say sometimes you have to get your hands dirty if you want to get results, 
Well, in this case, you'll have to get your entire body dirty to get that win. Number six, power football. Power football involves two teams of four players each who use power wheelchairs. Every wheelchair is fitted with a foot guard to help prevent injuries to the players. Power football matches are usually played in indoor gymnasiums. The sport is said to have originated in France back in the 1970s, but a governing body wasn't founded until 2005, when representatives from Portugal, England, USA, Japan, Canada and Belgium came together to establish the International Power Chair Football Association. Now there are more than 250 registered power football teams all over the world. Number 7. Football Tennis Also known as Footnet, football tennis is an official sport which first started out as a training drill for professional football clubs until it became its own game in 1922. The first official rules of the game weren't written until 1940 though, when the first Footnet Cup was held. This game can be played with one, two or three players on either side of the net. Obviously, the sport takes characteristics from both football and tennis, you can tell from the name and just by watching it being played. The World Championships has been held every two years since 1994 and it's very popular in the Czech Republic, Romania, Hungary, Croatia, Slovakia, France, Turkey and a few other countries, especially in Europe. Number 8. Bubble Football Now this is one of the relatively newer versions of football. Originating in Norway in 2011, bubble football is basically just football played by people in a bubble. Players are encased in an inflated torus bubble from their thighs up, each team with the aim of putting the ball in the back of the opponent's net. Bubble football is mostly played just for fun, but official tournaments are now starting to be held, with the first ever World Cup taking place in London in 2018. It was a pretty big competition, the final was hosted at Wembley Stadium. Here the rules are pretty much the same as football, but the most unique and most interesting part for most people is the players constantly bumping into each other as they fight for the ball. The sport is surely a great deal of fun, with even Lionel Messi enjoying it. Just take a look at how happy he was playing bubble football with his Barcelona teammates back in 2016. Number 9. Jorky Ball Jorky Ball is what you get when you mix football and squash together. Typically it is played by two players on either side. The first team to win two sets is said to be the winners. A set by the way is a round of seven goals. In this sport the walls are your teammates too. Three on two jockey ball was created by Gilles Pannier in a garage in Lyon back in 1987. It was first played in front of a large audience as an exhibition at the 1990 FIFA World Cup in Italy. From then, more and more people started participating in and enjoying the game of jockey ball. Number 10. Cycle Ball As the name implies, this sport is a combination of cycling and football. Also called Radball in Germany, cycle ball involves players on bikes playing against each other and trying to score in their opponent's net, you know, just like football. Here the ball is controlled and played with the bicycle, and it's typically played with two players on each team. France, Germany, Belgium, Japan, Czech Republic, Switzerland, Austria and Russia are some countries who engage in and really enjoy this sport. And don't make the mistake of thinking that this is a new sport. Cycle ball and football were actually both first introduced in the 19th century. Nicholas Edward Kaufmann, a German-American, is the man responsible for introducing cycle ball way back in 1893. It really does have a very rich history. What we can tell from this video is that there are very many ways to enjoy the game of football and in fact, you can even invent your own version in your living room today. But one thing that brings all these different versions together is that the aim is always the same, to put the ball in the back of the net. Except for one though. Let's see if you paid attention while watching this video. Can you tell us which version of football on the list does not require the players to put the ball in the back of the opposition's net? Give us your answer in the comments and please try not to cheat. If you enjoyed this video, slap a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.